Yeah, hello guys. Let me show you how to use the Economics Made Easy app. Um, you can see here in the menu there are seven sections. Um, start. Let me show you the first one, Introduction and Definitions. So in this section you'll find uh, definitions of economics. Standard definitions, productivity, demand supply, surplus, unemployment, etc. Now the second section is the computational economics part of the app. And you can see this is really where the app uh, shines because you have everything pretty much what you have in economics um, computable right here. So for example, marginal profit. You enter your price in terms of quantity equation here okay and uh, you can scroll down and see your step-by-step -step solutions marginal profit for different uh, for a specific quantity also the actual difference is uh, shown here as well to compare the marginal profit to um, let me show you some more examples break-even point we also have marginal revenue here, marginal and average cost, break-even point, revenue equal cost. Enter your revenue and your cost equations here, scroll up, and then you can see that they both match for these two quantities here, and then in, in those cases, the revenues and the cost, which of course match, are being computed for you for each uh, solution that is found. Next, um, what else we have? Demand analysis, economic order quantity, continuous income stream, price elasticity. Again, or enter your quantity function in terms of price, scroll up, there you see the definition of the uh, elasticity which is then applied here and in this case we're going to get an inelastic um, answer and uh, further computations right here as you can see everything is computed here step by step for you producer surplus, Cobb Douglas uh, production, Gini coefficient you enter the five um, values that represent each 20% range. You enter them here and then you see that the five areas are being computed and uh, yeah, finally you're going to get in this case a Gini coefficient of 0 0.3572 you change some values here, let's say the 11, and immediately your Gini coefficient adjusts to the change. Everything done here step by step using trapezoidal uh, area computations. Future value and compound interest, well, that we here in this case, you just leave one box blank say you want to figure out the principle, leave the principle blank. If you do know your principle and would like your future value, leave the future value blank and get the answer right here with the formula shown. The values are plugged into the formula for you for easy understanding. Um, effective interest rate of course well, you enter 10%. You want to know its effective interest rate. Well, for 365 days, it's actually 10.51%. For over 12 months, 10.47%. Uh, we have differentials here. Uh, also, logistic differential equation. Simplex algorithm is included fiscal multipliers, average tax rate. Okay, so you leave again one box empty as it shows you here. 
Average tax rate is tax paid divided by income. Okay, so you're going to get a fractional answer. If you want a decimal answer, just make one of your two inputs a decimal, and all of a sudden you have a decimal answer. So you can see very versatile. Um, price index computation, GDP, expenditure approach, and income approach is being displayed here for you. GDP deflator, everything all the way down to unemployment rate. Again, if you would like to have a decimal answer, just enter one of the numbers up here as a decimal and you get your unemployment rate computed to many correct decimals. Okay, let me show you the other sections which show you uh, the non-computational part. So here we have everything about microeconomics, definitions, elasticity, sorry, I said profit. So you can read about profit, break-even point, uh, cost curve, product curves, monopoly, what is a monopoly, macroeconomics is similar, what is macroeconomics, you can read about macroeconomics right here, GNP, etc. Passive economic models, sales law, assumptions, etc. Everything can be read here. Active economic models, that you find uh, in this section to be read. And the computational part is this lengthy part where you can pretty much compute anything that you need. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate emailing us. Thank you for watching. Economics Made Easy, available at tiinspireapps.com.